wings report in. Red leader standing by. If it was Zenzo's game here, and today we are back on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, we're heading to Renvi to report our big success. Uh, it really sucks that Soma had to kill someone that she considered family, but hey, that's the life of a Viking. Also, I have noticed uh, Haythums or Haythums, little thing right there. We're going to do that in a little bit. First, we're going to report to Ranvi. Because I think I know what his little mission is. It's nothing like an actual mission. But it is useful. Good hey, Ranvi. Good to see you. And I'm happy to report that we had a big success. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. So, I was thinking of going to... Like, going to meet up with Sigurd and helping him, but... There's actually a few quests we can do around the camp, so I think we're actually gonna make this episode like a camp episode. Because if I upgrade some places, then it gives me a little quest. At least that's what my friend told me. And also, I think there's some... There's a quest I can get here to get a companion or something? I don't know, I'll have to... My friend said if I just walk around, I'll stumble upon it. Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, oh, hello, hello. We come on behalf of a thousand eyes. Vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mineral. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Has some pretty decent stuff. I would primarily want the bow. Just a... Uh... Oh, it's a hunter bow, though. I don't know. I'd primarily want the bow. But if I understand correctly, I think... 
that these are items you can buy from the Ubisoft store. Now, kind of, now this I like. They have items in the Ubisoft store that you can pay with actual cash. But in this, you don't have to. Like, because it looks like it changes daily or weekly. And then you can pay by just doing missions. See, that I like. You can either buy them or just play the game and you'll unlock them at some point. Uh, I wish more games did that. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Uh... Okay, y'all saw that, right? He just... got, like, gigantic. Greetings. Why all of a sudden did you get huge? I have to go. See you soon. You go on, I'll still be here. Okay, is... Is that supposed to happen? Like, seriously, please, if, you, if you've played this game, like, and you've gotten to that point, please let me know. Is that supposed to happen? Because that was... That was weird. Hey, Hytham. Hytham, Randvi asked me to see you about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Okay, so there's two main places I want to set up first. First things first, let's get on with this one. So I got a pretty good amount of resources. will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? Uh... 
Yeah, okay. I will. Lead on. Greetings. Wait, was that you that just said that? <laughs> Dude, your voice got... I don't know, your voice got a little more, uh, Viking. <gasps> An intruder! Here, heaven, is your breathing, Hyphen. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basil. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Well, maybe you wouldn't have gotten injured if you would have honored our culture and not interrupted during the well enough to steer this boat. home game. I, I have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. Again, next time, don't interfere. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. But still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. And I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I wonder if we can get an assassin outfit. I don't know. Well, I, was, I just want to see Avar in like an assassin, like an assassin robe or outfit. I don't know. I guess it would be a robe. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump? From here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Uh, Hytham, you kind of turn into a... Are you injured? You see? My faith grew stronger than my fear. And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor, I have not seen this side of you before. Do not feed your fear. Conquer it. <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. I was not here. Not today. Also, uh, Hytham, are we going to talk about the fact that you basically just... I don't know, you just slid across the ground. Huh, <sighs> wouldn't be a Ubisoft game without glitches. <laughs> and that was the end of Avar. Hytham killed him. He was later uh, beheaded. Avar, speak. Oh dear, this is not how I foresaw things. Not at all. Dear God, Basim will have my head for this. <laughs> I honestly did I didn't know he would actually <laughs> I didn't know he would actually
actually like start freaking out. <laughs> Boo! Yeah! A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, the land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all! Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. Hunter, son of Hunter. Assassinate the Baldrick. He can be found in the marketplace in town of... Let us of let us for let us for for Shire. Let us Shire. I don't know, something like that. Assassinate Scabbard. She can be found in the Saxon military camp of Utbeck across the river north of the town of Grandabridge in Grandabridge Shire. Really, I was just over there. Who's this guy? Ah. Yotfe. Wigmund the Crozier. So we got our work cut out for us, buddies. Okay. So now I'm curious about this companion that I can get. My friend said to like, at some point, you just walk around the camp and a kid will run up to you freaking out or whatever. But for all I know, I'm probably too early. Eh, if it's not till later, then we'll do another quest. Uh, let's see, let's see. I think this is the hunter's den, 
And the Hunter's Den could be useful. I don't know, let me see. 600. Hmm. How much is it to... 400. Let's do this one. Because I think this one comes with a quest. And I'll upgrade that one later. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area, and once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Yeah, a pack of wolves. If they get too close to the Our town... Is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain. And the yeah, a pack of wolves gets too comfortable around people. They can then get closer and closer until they're finally just walking around inside the settlement. And they'll eventually get too bold for their own good. Sorry, I had to say that. But wolves are a worry. Maybe why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Yeah, especially since we got come kids around. I am going this way. Also, I wonder when we get to go to America. I mean, that's where Avar's grave is, so Look clearly here. we gotta go there. Bread crumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Hmm. Sounds well, like there might be more to that. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Huh? Those oh. trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. Yes. 
So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, if... so you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Can we pick up the pace? Like, you're hmm. kind of moving slow. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Oh, really? I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Oh, God. Oh, Please, help. Sorry, puppies. We all can't stay here. Uh, that's the main thing I hate about ca killing canine animals. The whimper. Get up here so I can do this quick. Sorry. I hate killing canines and foxes. Are foxes canines? I don't know. Are foxes canines? Or they feel awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't, but I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Okay, so... I don't have enough resources to build any more things in the settlement right now. And... I want to do just one more thing to lead the episode up on. So we're going to do a raid and then that will be the closer to our episode. So let's go raid. Find it funny that this place is not far from Grandabitchar. Also, uh, I found out what these, uh, question mark guys are, because I've been seeing them around lately. Basically, all they are is... Basically, 
like if you're trying to find a place or something, you can pay them and they'll tell you where it's at. And freedom for all. I always find it funny that they use sticks for the jail cell doors and the bars. I don't know, you think that it'd be easy to get through those? Uh, no, I'm Avar. Hey, can't do this alone. Hello? We have come for your treasure. Hey, come here. And push. there we go. Help, I just thought that she's that she's just sitting up there like uh you forgot these guys. Oh and I forgot these guys. Okay, there are way too many captors in here. Like this? Okay. You're an archer. You're going next. these freaking cages do they have? I split you. <laughs> Hit him right into the cage. Come on, guys. I'm kind of getting shot with arrows. Okay, seriously? More cages? the dagger guys because with them you'll be fighting them and then they'll just sneak in a poke gotcha yeah like you'll be fighting them and then like they'll poke you whenever you're raising your weapon. Out of my way, Dag. Okay, and there's something in here, but I need to find a freaking key. Where is the key? I might have to come back whenever we're not raiding this place and maybe it'll 
Maybe the guy who has the key will be around. Uh, no key over here. I think whoever has the key, I think they're long gone. Something up there. Maybe the key's up there. Oh, we got more prisoners. My okay. Ghost, I mean how, did, how did they even get the What's one? This? One. How'd they even get these cages up here? Two. How'd they get the people up here to put them in the cages? I'm not seeing a key anywhere. Wait, did we miss a place? Lots of plunder here. With the crew's help, we could get it back to the ship. Guess whenever I came in, I did stop to actually look around. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna go pick up with Sigurd and meet up with Ivar and Uba, I believe. And. Not really much else I can do here. How much? Oh, we got a lot of supplies. So yeah, we're gonna go... We're gonna head back to the settlement and next episode we're going to... Go meet up with Sigurd and see if he needs our help with whatever he's doing. So, yeah, that's the plan. So, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you like to subscribe, leave a like. As always, please leave me a comment down below. Great comments on Omega and Proven and I love chatting with y'all. Now, if you want to chat with me directly and check out updates on the channel, check me out on Twitter at Anzilis Gaming. And with all that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode.